Good day, everyone. I hope you all had a terrific Tuesday. My Tuesday was, um, uh, what do you think I'm going to say? Probably going to say, all right, or pretty good, or something like that. Well, that's exactly what I'm saying. Mine was pretty good. It was all right. <laughs> uh, so I work today, so I don't usually work on Tuesdays. Uh, this is, I think, I think my first. I may have worked on another Tuesday, but I don't think I have. I don't think so. So... I think this is my first Tuesday to work. I came in for someone else's shift. Uh, the opening was there, so I jumped at it. I never get scheduled on Tuesday because even though I'm f available for an open or a mid, um, they just keep me off Tuesdays entirely in general. And feeling a little bit tired right now tells me, even though it was really slow at work, it really was. Um, I. I'm not going to jump at the opportunity. If they schedule me, so be it. But obviously an open wouldn't be ideal because I'd be getting done at 2 o'clock and have to wait until 6, 6.30. But don't want to go all the way home, but I might as well go all the way home because it's a lot of time to kill. Um, so hopefully if I do ever, it's always going to be a mid because I told her, and I told her this before, my manager put in the schedule, but she seemed to say, like, oh, like she just got what I meant and didn't understand it before. Is that I can work until 6 o'clock. So I can open or do a mid. I just can't close because um, I got something else to do. And so I told her, I'll be, I, I, what I'm doing is down here. It's, it's just up one exit off of I 4. So I'll be coming down here anyways. So I told her scheduling me for a mid would be ideal because I'm coming down anyways. But didn't happen on the next schedule after she talked. I talked to her about it with that. So probably will continue the way it's been doing, which is Monday, Wednesday, Friday, Saturday as possibilities. Although it's never all of them. Sometimes I can I can take shifts to make it all of them, but it's never initially all of them when I'm scheduled. So. But at least I'm not stuck on two days. I'm up to three most shifts, which is fine. To be expected. But yeah. So, like I said, we were slow. <laughs> Made everything lined up. Everything was in place. Um, I talked to the manager about the menu board. I noticed it seemed kind of inconsistent with what the layout I thought should be based on sizing and things. And the way we had it before, we had the wraps up and then we had all the smoothies and then we had a second menu that had the salads the breakfast and then the add-ons for the smoothies farthest down on the end and the add-ons for the smoothies was shorter than the other two and then the the wraps was taller than all the rest of the smoothies and the first thing says what's your smoothie and the second one says always fresh um, and the second one is over by the cafe where we make the wraps and the breakfast and the salads and stuff. And so I'm like, these are all the same size. That one is smaller. It's probably the same size as these. And this one goes over there. And I thought it was weird because we always had Planet Light was the first column of smoothies. Planet Classics was the last column way over on the right. And so I told the manager we were slow. I asked if she want I asked her if she wanted me to talk, try what she talked about what we talked about on Saturday about changing it around she said sure let's go ahead and do it and see how it looks and so I did it I took the wraps off I moved the planet classics over to the left side to be the first one there so that's planet classics planet light third one is energy and all three of those panels are all the same pricing so there's no like breaking it up and making it more confusing that way then I took off the add-ons Put it on the on the right side, the last column of the smoothies. Again, they're all the same size now, so it makes sense. And the customers can see all the add-ons, and they're with the smoothies, and it makes sense with the what's your smoothie, and it gives like smoothie calorie information and stuff like that too. And then over on the other one, there's room for three. I have breakfast, then wraps, then salads, and it's all right there. And again, it's all the same size, so it makes sense with the layout. And I spaced them out just a little bit, so there's a little gap between each one thought that looked a little bit better too and the manager agreed I sent her I sent her pictures of it and she's like it looks great so I did that it didn't take very long actually surprisingly quick and easy 
but I mean that was my thing at Taco Bell. I was the guy who put the menu board together. So um, I jumped at the opportunity to go back to that role because that was probably my favorite role of everything I did at Taco Bell. Was the ability to step aside, put it together, make it look good, put it in place. That was something I just loved to do. Organizing and stuff. But yeah. So then I got off work at 6, changed my shirt, ran over for some dinner. I knew there was a Taco Bell not too far away, I thought, but I'd never been there before. So I took this route. I'd look on the map. I delayed myself a little bit. I thought I had time to sit down and eat and still make it there by quarter till when I make it to the drive. By quarter till because I was going straight from work. Um, but did not. I shouldn't have. I should have gone through the drive through and eaten on my way over there. And then I probably would have gotten there right on time. Instead, I got there at like five till. But it was fine. Everything was running smoothly. The other girl that was at the table, the name tag table, was handling it. So, yeah. So then I took the second, the later part of it where after 7 o'clock, one, one of the two people at the table can go in. The other one stays out for latecomers. And so I went ahead and was the one for latecomers to, to go ahead and leave. So then we had, uh, it was a good service, good table time afterwards. There was only three of us at the table, but we had a pretty good discussion, surprisingly. Um, so, yeah. And then we had a drive-serve team meeting afterwards. So I had to stay there. And we had Flipper's Pizza brought in. So I had a couple pieces of that. Wasn't too hungry because I did eat Taco Bell for dinner. Filled myself up then, right before 7 o'clock. And so it was like 9 o'clock. So only a couple hours later. So, yeah. And then Heather went with the group to Tijuana Flats. But by the time we got done with our thing, they had already done. It was already after 10 o'clock, and T1 Flats was already closed. And I didn't want to see, like, figure out whatever another group was doing, if someone else was doing something else or not. So I was just like, ah, I'll just come home. So I came home, grabbed some McDonald's on the way home. I was feeling like I was feeling like ice cream, like a Sunday, chocolate Sunday, half foot Sunday. Just feeling like something. So I did that, and now. It's time to close out this vlog and go to bed. So, good night, everyone. I'll see you tomorrow.